2,000 years after the departure of Jesus the Christ. The prophets are back to teach the real Jews, the 12 tribes of Israel, their true nationality. This is their campaign. So, in school, are they teaching you that Jesus Christ is a black man? Did you know that? You didn't know that Jesus Christ is a black man? No. How you? Bro, you said you were in sixth grade? Let me show you something real quick. Go to Revelation chapter one. You see this image right here? Is it up? Yeah, you see that image right there? They, in the whole planet Earth, they say that that's Jesus, right? You go to church? Yeah. What church you go to? Universal. Universal Christian Church. Okay, check this out. When you go into the book of Revelation, it gives you a description of Jesus Christ. You ever read it before? No? Now check this out. In the book of Revelation, it tells you the revelation or the revealing of Jesus. Because in your church, do you guys actually go into the Bible and read it? Really? Okay, so if you read the book of Revelation, now watch this. I want you to come for you because you're in sixth grade, right? Now watch this. Read verse, read verse one real quick. Revelation chapter 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? The revelation of Jesus Christ The revealing of Jesus Christ. Excellent. Let's continue Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass now The Bible says that we must that Christ had to reveal the things that will come to pass, right? So when we go to the verse 14, it's letting you know the revelation of how he looks you understand? Of how he looks. Now check this out. What's your name? Malik. Brother Malik. Check this out right here. In verse 14. Sister also. What we trying to figure out is who is Jesus? I'm saying that he's a black man according to the Bible says. But what does the world say Jesus is? He says he's a white man, right? Play. But are they telling you that or are there all these images around you? There's images everywhere that says he's a white man, right? But when we go into the Bible, is the Bible says that God be true and every man a liar? You ever heard right. that scripture before? You never heard that before? The Bible says that God be true and every man a liar. Get that real quick. Is that right? Romans 3. Romans 3. Romans 3. Romans 3. The Bible says let God be true and every man a liar. So if there's all these images of Jesus Christ being a white man, but if we could go into the Holy Bible and it says different, who are we supposed to listen to? We're supposed to listen to the Bible, right? You got that for me? Romans 3? Yes, okay, this is Romans chapter 3 verse 5. Remember, write this down if you need to understand. Romans 3 verse 5, check this out. Look at Romans chapter 3 verse 4. God forbid, yea, let God be true, but every man a liar. The Bible says let God be true. That's Romans 3 and what? Verse 4. Romans chapter 3 verse 4. It says let God be true, but every man a liar. You understand that, Malik? All right, so let's go to Revelation chapter 1 real quick. Check this out. We said that if the world says that Jesus Christ is a white man, right? But the Holy Bible says that he's a black man, who are we supposed to believe? We're supposed to believe the Bible. End all questions, correct? So let's go to Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. Check this out. Revelation 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Wow! The Bible says that Jesus Christ's head and his hairs were woolly. Okay? You process that, right? I see it in your face. You process it. Now check that out. Look at that right there. The whole world says that that's Jesus, correct? But the Holy Bible just says that his head and his hands are woolly. Right, Malik? You follow me? Let's continue. And his eye as white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire, and his feet like a divine brass. So the Bible just says his feet were like a divine brass. Believe. Have you ever seen brass before? No. You ever seen brass before? It's like it's an element. 
or it's a, it's a metal, it's a type of metal. Like a pen. Say yes to the pen, pen you food? Yeah, I have one. You have one? You have one with you? Yeah. Let me see it real quick. Let me see a penny real quick. Because we all make it plain. Okay, check this out. Boom! So read that one more time for the brother. And his feet like a divine brand. So sister, you understand that? I said, brother Malik, stop because he's in your sixth grade, correct? He's in sixth grade. And he just said that, oh, Jesus Christ is a white man, right? But when we go to the Holy Bible, it says different. So he's a young man, and we have older people who say, oh, it's not a big deal. But it's still being taught to our kids. Right. You understand, sister? So it's still a big deal. That's we, have, right. we haven't addressed it yet. You understand? So let's go back to Revelation chapter 1 real quick. Let's read that again. Revelation chapter 1 verse 14. His head and his hands were white like wool. Uh -huh. And his white as snow. Uh -huh. And his eyes was a flame of fire. And his feet like a divine brass. The Bible just said his feet like a divine brass, like a penny. You see that? Like a penny. But look how it goes even deep. It goes further. Watch this. As if they burn in a furnace. So, Malik, if I burn this penny, what color is it going to get? It's going to get like a darker, it's going to get darker than this, right? So what is that letting you know, Malik? That Jesus Christ is a black man. That's right. You understand that? And you want to know something, Malik? That is so important to your life. You understand that, brother? That is so important because Christ is our superhero. You understand that? Man, he's our superhero because he's coming to save the day. Right, right. That's how we work. That's how Christ is coming. Yeah. You understand? So when you go into the Bible and you understand the feats of Christ, you understand? Healing the blind, feeding the hungry. You understand? That's our Lord and Savior. That's our King. So when you understand how we roll, how you, you may see us, understand that we come here to save our people. Right. Because we are in sin. Because remember, when you go to Luke chapter 1, excellent. When you go to Luke chapter 1, you have to uh, remember the Gospels. You ever heard the Gospels of Mark, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John? You heard them before? See, you said you went to church. They read the Bible to you. So you have, that's, that's basic. Right. Sister, you understand that? What we have to establish here is who is Christ to us? Because is he just somebody we just see on Sunday and then we leave? And then we just go back to evil? Is that the, is that the king we're supposed to serve? What kind of king is that? He don't give a damn about me. If all I got to do is say, Jesus, Jesus, I'm washing the blood. And I can go do all the amount of evil as I want. What kind of man is that? What kind of father is that? What kind of leader is that? He's going to lead me off into to, to problems. What? You understand that, Malik? Malik, I want you to think. In your school, you said you're in sixth grade, correct? Yeah. Sister, what's your name? Vivian? Sister Vivian. In our schools, that lets you know that the school system hasn't changed much. You understand? Because even back in your time, I'm sure they weren't letting you know that Jesus Christ is a black man. Were they? They weren't letting you know that. So if they weren't teaching us that, we were going off of somebody else's program. Somebody else's program was being taught to us. And that lets you know that things haven't changed since the time of slavery. Things have not changed since the time of slavery. That's, you understand? Brother Malik, Brother Sister Vivian, what's your name, brother? Arnold. Brother Arnold. So when we go through the image of Christ, although brother, oh, that's not a big deal, that's super serious. That is super serious. Because if it wasn't serious, they wouldn't have went through all that work to make sure we believe that he's right. You understand? He wouldn't do all that. So when you go to the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 68, you understand that, sister? So when we're going over something very, very important, because in Christian churches, they still preach that Jesus Christ is a white man, right? They do. Because even though you may be holding up the Bible, the face of Christianity is a white Jesus, correct? Yeah, right? So if we are supposed to be servants of the, of, of followers of the Lamb, we're to see him being washed in the blood, we got to know what Christ was and what he was about. So when we go to Luke chapter 1 verse 68, watch this. Luke chapter 1 verse 68. Bring it out. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. So God is letting you know. This is a heavy book right here, heavy chapter. God lets you know that he's a God of a people. That's right. You hear that, sister? He said, he said he's a God of a people. What's your name, sister? God of a people. No, what's your name? I'm Sister Peter? Sister Peter? Yes. Okay, Sister Peter. Peter? Peter. P-I-T-T-E-R. 
Okay, Pitcher, Sister Pitcher. So, Sister Pitcher, so when we go to the Bible, read that one more time. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, uh -huh. for he hath visited and redeemed his people. So, the Bible just says that the people called the Israelites were visited and redeemed. Yeah. Not everybody, sister. Everybody. Okay, sister. All right, my sister. Yes, Lord. And has raised up and born of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. You understand that? So when you look at it, it's not even know. Yes, sister. So check this out. Malik. Sister Pitcher. Sister Vivian. What's your name over there, brother? Brother with the, the what's your name? Mello. Mello? Brother Mello. What's your name, brother? Eddie. Eddie? So brothers and sisters, check this out. We're going over something basic but very important. You understand? When we go into the book of Luke, one of the Gospels, we all went to church. This brother's still going to church. Sister, you still go to church? Yes, my brother. Yes, sister. Brother Eddie, Eddie. Brother Eddie, real quick, real quick. What church do you belong to? Okay, he said he's Haitian. I don't know. Okay. Brother Mello, what church do you belong to? You go to church? Okay, Sister Vimy, what church you go to? Huh? Now check this out. When we go into the Holy Bible, correct? When we go into the Holy Bible, does it talk about you being a uh, seven day? No, no, it doesn't say that, right? No, 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 no. Malik, you said that you're a universal Christian, correct? That's what they say, right? And Sister Vivian, what'd you say you were? Church of Christ. When we go to the Bible, could I find those titles in there? You can't find it. Right. So we have to see, how is it that we have one Bible and we have all these different religions? Why is that, Sister Pitcher? Why is that? Keep so. So what do you say? Our love has deferred. Our love has deferred? Okay, Sister Vivian, what do you say? What, what has happened? Why do we have all these religions and one Bible? Huh? You don't know? Brother Malik, why do we have all these religions but one Bible? Does that make sense? It don't make sense, right? Brother, what's your name? Andy. Brother Andy. How do we have one Bible, right? But all these religions. And you, you want to know something heavy? It's predominantly in the black, Hispanic, and Native American community. When you go to other people's communities, you don't really see all those churches like that. Right. You don't. Right. Have you paid attention to that? Right. When you go into other people's communities, you see more businesses. You don't see all these run-down churches all over the place. Right. That's right. You don't. So the question has to become, how is it that we all supposed to be believers of Jesus in the blood of the Lamb, but that we all have all these denominations? Why is that, Brother Andy? Um, we have these denominations because perhaps Satan has a chance to enter. So Satan can somewhere. enter in? Yeah. Okay, okay. What do you, why, why, why is that? But I know you're a young brother, but you can still think. Why do we have all these religions in one body? Why is that? What do you say? So we can get confused. That's very heavy you said that, Malik. He said that's because that can cause confusion. Right. Hold that real quick. Let's hold that. I know you're going to get 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33 real quick. Bring it because up. you just said something very heavy, Malik. You just said that it would cause confusion. So let's see what Jesus Christ, God, says about confusion. Check this out. 1 Corinthians 14, verse 33. Bring it up. But God is not the author of confusion. Whoa. One more time. Read that. Read that loud and strong. Read that strong. For God is not the author of confusion. God just said that He is not the author of confusion. Right. That's what God just said. So if we are all holding up the Holy Bible and there's all these denominations, that means the devil's in the midst. That's what God is letting you know. So we all have to listen to what the Bible says. Everybody understand that? You understand that, Brother Andy? Malik, Sister Vivian, Victor, you understand that? So if we could, we all establish that. We all establish that? So we all have to agree on what the Bible says, correct? Yes, so let's establish, let's establish more facts. Luke 168. Bring it out! Bring it out! We have to establish facts. Because we all want you to understand what the Bible is saying. Because there cannot be more, no more ignorance. Because God's not the author of ignorance, correct? He don't like that. What's your question, sister? What's your question, sister? Okay. They are pure virus. Right. 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 Okay. Whoa, sister, sister. I like what you just said, sister. Can we get the truth?
charm with all the denominations from some of this around that real quick because you said something very heavy. And that's and that's that's real. I, I, that's real. Now sister, sister, all the holy all the Bibles that brothers and sisters in the, the King James Version, right? The King James Version. It all says that he's black. Right, that's right. They all describe him as black with woolly hair. What you what what did, what did you just pull out for me? You pulled out what for me? You pulled out what? No, you pulled out a penny for me. And it said that he was the kid of brass that burned in the furnace. They all say that the King James Version. So now that you know somebody's not teaching us correctly. Right. Somebody is not teaching us correctly, sister. That's right. Bring it out. Now, sister. Teach so. No, sister. We okay, you believe it. But we all have to agree on what the Bible says, remember? We all have to agree so there can be no more division. So black here, black is black. Sister, that's I want you to that's what I want you to understand. I want you to understand. It didn't come like that. It always said Jesus Christ was black. But something happened to us that a lot of our people don't like to address. A lot of our people don't like to address what happened to us. And that's why we still have all this confusion. You want, to, you, want to, let's address, you want to address it, sister? Should we all address it? Andy, should we address yeah. what happened to us? Brother Malik, should we address what happened to us? Yeah. So, sister Vivian, should we address what happened to us? Yeah. Sister Peter, yes. should we address what happened yes. to us? Yes. We should address it, right? Yes. So let's go to Deuteronomy real quick. Bring it out. Let's address it. We have to address these things, right? You see that image right there, Brother Malik? You see that right there? Hold this real quick. You see this right here, Brother Malik? You see that right there? You know what that's called? You don't know what that's called? No. You never seen this image before? A ship? You see those ships, right? Yeah. yeah. You see those ships in the Sister Peter? You yeah, see them? Yeah, yeah. Sister Peter? You, you saw that, right? Sister, Brother Andy? Yeah. You see that, right? Do. Brother Malik, do you know anything about these ships? He's young. He's young. He's young. Oh. He's young. He's young. Do they teach us in school? No, that is slave ships. You were in sixth grade, right? Oh, okay. I think I heard about social studies. In social studies? What, what do they say about these ships right here? Like, those are slave ships, right? What, what, what did they tell you about those slave ships? They were used to transport slaves, right? And they leave. Do they tell you anything else? What else they tell you? They didn't really tell you much about slavery, right? They didn't really tell you much. What, what, you know? But check this out, sisters and brothers. The history of slavery is documented in the Bible. Believe that? That's right. And it happened to a specific people. Sister Peter, you have, is that a King James Version? What is that? I think so, yes. You sure, sister? Yes, sir. Okay, sisters, I want you to do me a favor. We're going to go to the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28. Actually, it's going to Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1, so we know who Moses was speaking to. Bring it out! You say that? We all want to get things in proper context. What's up, sister? They still don't get this teaching. You see that, sister? Because remember, when we were in child slavery, it was, it was not permitted for us to read and write. Right. If, if, right. if they saw us reading and writing, you know, somebody's going to take our eyes away, they'll cut off right. our tongue. Right. They did things like that. But you right. see that, sister, I see the shock in your face. Those things were not being, we're not teaching that to our kids anymore. Right. We're not teaching us the things that happened in slavery because, oh God, that's the past. I don't want to hurt people's feelings, you know? Right. What about you? Right, right. What about you? Right. No. You understand that, sister? You try to save everybody else, but you drowning. You understand that, sister? God has the remedy for all that. Let's go to Deuteronomy, sister, uh, sister Peter. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. You ready? Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Hold on, one sister, brother Malik. You gotta get this real quick. I want you to understand this because remember, this is the book of Deuteronomy. This is the Old Testament. But check this out real quick. One and one. Read this first. Deuteronomy chapter one verse one. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Sister, you listening? So when you read this, this is letting you know that the words that are spoken are spoken to the people called the Israelites. Yeah. Okay, we established that, right? Text. Deuteronomy 28. Bring it out! Now Deuteronomy 28 is gonna let you know penalties for breaking God's commandments. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Watch this now. Deuteronomy 28, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now remember, the people called the Israelites were taken out of bondage in Egypt, correct? Yeah. So when we were taken out of Egypt, we were given laws, statutes, commandments. And God says, if you break those laws, no. you break those covenants, there's penalties for that. But let's go to 68. Let's just jump to the facts. Let's go right to the point. We got off those slaves as we were going to be sold to our enemies. That's the Holy Bible. Keep reading. For bond men and bond women, 
enslaved man and slave woman, and what happened? And no man shall bite. Now, the question becomes, who did that happen to? Bring it up. Who did that happen to? Who are the people who were freed by the hand of Moses, were told, keep the commandments, keep the commandments, or you're going to be put into slavery, and when you broke it, the prophecy was you're going to be sold to your enemies. Who did that happen to? Who did it happen to? The black race. It happened to the so-called black race. That's right. So what is that letting you know? Plain and simple. Who are the Israelites? The so-called black. The people on the chart right there. See that chart right there? The people on the chart right there. Those are the Israelites. Bring it out. Those are the Israelites. Sister. Now the reason why that's so important is because the Bible always talks about. same people I put on slave ships yeah. for disobedience. Right. right. So that's letting you know that the people called the Israelites are still in bondage today. Yes. Hallelujah. Now sister, check this out. Check this out, sister. Where are you from, sister? You from the islands? You're from Jamaica. You're from the you're from Yon, right? Now sister. And Sister Vivian and Sister Brother Malik and Brother Ed. We just went over that we were a chattel slavery. And it's documented in the Bible. You understand that? So if it's documented in the Bible, how is it? Now check this out. We have to establish, remember we're trying to establish truth here, right? Let's shame the devil. Ain't that what they say? Let's shame the devil. Let's shame him. How is it that the Bible just documents that the Israelites will be put on chattel slavery, right? And that they will be taken from where they were, where they used to be, their homeland. So now fast forward to today, we have a white Jesus and we celebrate him. Bring it out. Bring it out. We have a white Jesus, and we're celebrating him as God and as, as the Lord and Savior. But where does the Bible say he's white? I'm glad you said. Does it say he's white? I'm asking. I'm asking. I'm, okay, okay. I'm just saying Let's go. Now remember, um, Christ. Who were some of his forefathers? Who were some of Christ? Who were some of his forefathers? He, he sat in the seat of who? No, listen. That's right, there we go. He sat on the seat of David. And David had who? Who was David's son? Who was David's son? The most wisest king. Solomon. Solomon. Let's get, let's get Song of Solomon. Sister, Song of Solomon. Let's go. Come on, sister. We study it, sis. That's right. Song of Solomon. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Bring it's it back. Up. It's after the book of Ecclesiastes. You have to go, brother. One more scripture. I wish you had a pen, but brother, you see that fire right there? This is the fire in your hand. There's important information for you. But I want you to listen to the scripture because, brother, there's people who say that there's no color in the Bible. Okay, get, can you write this down for this, brother? Brother, write this down. There's a scripture I want you to write down. The book of Song of Solomon, chapter 1 and verse 5. Now we just established that Christ sat on the seat of David. And David had a, had a son, his name was Solomon. And listen to what King Solomon said about himself. Watch this. Song of Solomon, Bring it one, up. verse five. I am black, but comely. What? Read that one more time. I am black, but comely. The Bible just said that King Solomon was black and comely. That's Okay, okay, but brother, listen to what we're playing now. Hey, can brother, give the brother back. Song of Solomon 1 verse 5. Pay attention, all right, brother? Go ahead, go ahead. Okay. So we just read the book of Song of Solomon chapter 1 and verse 5. And we just said that Christ, well, the Bible says, he came from David. And he had Solomon. And so those are his forefathers. And King Solomon just said he's black. That's right. You understand that? That's right. You understand that, Sister Peter? Yes, yes, yes. Brother right there, you understand that? What's your name? What's your name, brother? Andy, we got two brother Andy. Where you from? Where you see yourself on that side? You said from Honduras? Ecuador? Okay, so you from Ecuador. Yeah, okay. You ever heard of the Incas? Okay, so we're, okay, so we're gonna get to, we're gonna touch on that, but hold on one second. Because we've all been taught that Jesus Christ is a white man. You've been right. taught that too, right? But in the Holy Bible, it doesn't say that. It says that he's a dark skinned man. And we just went through so 
Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5, who said that Jesus Christ's forefather, Solomon, was black. And he said, comely, comely means handsome. That's right. He said he, he loved it. He loved being a black man. He loved that thing. You understand? So when you go to the book of Revelation now, we're going to go to the book of Revelation, chapter 1, verse 14. So here's the problem that we have, Brother Andy, Brother Andy, Sister Vivian, Sister Pitta. We have a problem here. If we can read in the Holy Bible, where it says that Jesus Christ is a black man, but the whole world believes that Jesus Christ is a white man, who are we supposed to believe? Huh? We have to believe what the Bible says. Right? You understand that, Brother Andy? We have to believe what the Bible says. You understand? Because if we're supposed to be brothers in Christ, sisters in Christ, we have to all believe what the Bible says. Hold this and go back to uh, get that Ephesians that you had before. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 3 Endeavoring to keep the unity So the Bible talks about unity It doesn't talk about Seventh-day Adventists Catholics It doesn't talk about Methodists right. It don't talk about universal Christians It don't talk about that It don't talk about it Baptists, it don't say nothing about that You understand that? Right. So if we are going to keep the unity We have to know what the Bible says Keep reading, keep going Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit and the bond of peace. You understand that, brother? What's your name? Huh? Muhammad? Marvin. Marvin, brother Marvin. I'm sorry, brother Marvin. So when we try to understand this, the Bible talks about unity. If we are all supposed to be Christians, we are all supposed to be united under the Bible, right? Let's continue. There is one body. There's one body, right? Continue. And one spirit. And one spirit. Right. Continue. Even as you have co are called. And one hope of your calling. So the Bible just says there's one spirit. Right. There's one body. Right. right? So how is it? One more time. Why are there all these churches in our community? That's right. Bring Brother it Marvin, out. why is that? that you're new to what we Why is all that? Yeah, answer it, please, brother. God has a specific message. Uh huh. Sissy, right? Okay. So you're saying you're from Nigeria, okay? Africa. Okay. The way I grew up under a pastor, under a church, was according to my community. But right. I can't understand. Uh -huh. People that grew up from another country, they're under under tutor, under pastor. Under now I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show you something, brother Mark. Brother Mark, what's your name, sister? What's your name, sis? Sister Gail. Now check this out. You're from Nigeria, right? Now you said we talk, you talked about community. The community had one church. Now a lot of times a community is a is an effort amongst multiple people, right? You may be the fisherman. You may be the one who takes care of the children. You may be the one who goes out and knows how to you deal with metal, right? And we all have work to be able to be self-sufficient, correct? Why do a lot of Nigerians leave Nigeria to come here to find a better life if the community they were supposed to be in Bring is it not serving them? You understand that? The Bible is about how to deal with one another. How we learn how to build with one another. You understand that, sister? Communication, right? So why is it a lot of people in Nigeria, they leave Nigeria, sisters leave Jamaica, brothers leave Haiti, brothers leave Ecuador, brothers leave Dominican Republic, brothers leave Haiti, why are they really leaving? Right. Sister, let me hear you. in order to be rich. But sister, a lot of people are impoverished right. back home. Right. And they see if they can just get a little work here, they can ship it back home Hallelujah. and help their people, right? Yeah. So you have to understand that, sis. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, but you have to understand what a lot of people go through. I understand what you're saying, but that's why you have to understand, you have to understand what the Bible is talking about. You have to understand. How is it they say that the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they make almost a trillion dollars in money? 1.3 trillion dollars that we generate. Because all we do is work ourselves to death. That's all we do in this country, is work ourselves to death. So we make all this money, but where is the school where your children can go to? 
pray to learn about your history. Where's your, your police force, sister? You can call on if you need some help. Sister, brother, there's a brother named Jay-Z. I don't know if you ever heard, you ever heard of Jay-Z. Jay-Z's a billionaire. He hasn't come and said, you know what? Brooklyn is jacked up. Bring it out. Brooklyn is messed up. Right. But you know what he did? He said, let me put the Barclays son in there and That's kick right. all the niggas out. Right. That's what he did. So check this out. What is it that we are supposed to be all united under? Why is it so-called Hispanics look at black people and say, damn, I don't know about them. There's something wrong with them. You know what I'm saying? Why are they so loud and sucio negro? You understand? Why is that? Why is there divisions amongst us? You understand? So you said that it can come by... No, 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 no. I want Because you want to know why I know that's garbage? Not saying... Because we were all taught wrong. We were all taught wrong. You have to understand that. We were all taught wrong. For you, us to believe in 2019 that it's okay to have that image up in churches, to have the image of Jesus Christ as a white man, when the Bible explicitly says that he's a black man, lets you know that we something happened to us. It explicitly says that. So if we can all hold up the Bible and we believe that we are all followers of Jesus Christ, how can we accept that in our communities? How can we accept that? How can black lives matter when the man who died for black life is not being honored in our community? Now they will see the true man of God. We are not black men, we are the Israelites. Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.